Now, chart of accounts. Just to go through the slides, I'll try to explain. See what chart of accounts is. It is defined at the client level and assigned to each company code. Okay. Means a normal like physical year variant, SAD we created, posting period variant in the same way. A variant will be created and it will be assigned at each company code. It's a list of general ledger account master data that fall under different account groups. So it's a normal a list of general accounts which will be having multiple different account groups of a company code. For example, all the GL groups, all the general ledgers, whatever we require, general ledger groups will be created under one variant. It will be created under one variant. <clears throat> okay. So there are three different types of chart of accounts. One is operating. The other one is group. Next one is country specific. Operating nothing but your uh, uh, work, whatever the work you're trying to do, those related chart of accounts immediately, immediate chart of accounts. If let's say you, you have a multiple chart of accounts for your different company goods. Let's say for example, you have JS01, uh, sorry, your company is BU00 Butterfly, Butterfly, right? If you have multiple company codes, BU00, BU01, BU02, and you created different chart of accounts like 1000, 2000, 3000, okay? These are con company code level. Company code level, you have created and you have assigned a different chart of accounts. These are company codes and these are chart of accounts. If you are maintaining at each company code level different chart of accounts, what you can do? You can group all these chart of accounts into one or you can assign for all these group chart of accounts. So that all can be grouped into one main. And when you are looking at the report, you can look at the group chart of accounts report or at the company code level chart of accounts report. That is about the group. Now, country specific, what we can do is we can create a country specific chart of accounts also. Let's say, for example, few countries will be having VAT, few will be having TAX, tax. So at that time, what you can do, you can create country specific chart of accounts. Like, for example, uh, we have a country Israel, IS01. All Israel related company codes you can assign is uh, IS01. For India, IN01 country specific chart of accounts also you can assign okay so it will be little you know a little tricky to understand about chart of accounts how they these will be created how this will be assigned do not get panic when you go to real time you'll be able to follow just now we will concentrate one type of chart of accounts only one type of chart of account that is operating chart of accounts okay but while creating i'll show you if you have a group chart of accounts how do you act i'll show you that part Okay, so this is about the chart of accounts, country specific. This is about the operating. These are used to post daily expenses. The accounts in the operating chart of accounts could be either expenses or revenue accounts. And the information is shared by finance and controlling modules. Next, group. <coughs> group at the corporate level, as we discussed at the total top level. Country specific helps us to meet the country specific legal requirements. Now, the same thing, whatever uh, practical hands on creation of a chart of accounts, then assigning, then groups, retain earnings account, we will be looking at. Okay, GL master should be our next topic. So, now, first step, chart of accounts, we'll create one variant, OB13. Chart of accounts, OB13. Transaction code, OB13. First step, please make a note, chart of accounts, OB13. Okay. So, we are trying to touch to the general ledger accounting, okay? In a general ledger accounting, we are doing the, as a consultant, basic steps of chart of accounts. Okay, now make a note, path, chart of accounts creation, path, path SPRO, path SPRO, financial accounting, financial accounting, <coughs> I'm sorry, general ledger accounting, general ledger accounting, master data, master data, GL accounts, GL accounts, preparations, preparations, Edit chart of accounts list, edit chart of accounts list, OB13, edit chart of accounts list, OB13. A variant will create, okay, new entries, new entries, and here we can create chart of accounts. Okay, I am creating chart of account variant as a BU00, you can create 1000, 2000, any four digits again. Okay, chart of accounts for BU00 company code, for BU00 company code. Maintain language, it's a English. Now. What is the length of GL account? What is the length of GL account number? So what SAP says is, this is a chart of accounts you are creating and you are creating a variant. 
In this variant, you can specify your length of a GL account number, which we which you will be creating in our next steps actually, general ledger. We have not yet started general ledger. We are doing basic configuration. So it is asking how much length. So first of all, let's see what is the length it is providing. So the length of a GL account it is providing 0, 0 to 10 number. Means from 0 digit to 10 digits, it is allowing or it, it is keeping a limit to a GL account length, length of a GL account number, 0 to any digits you can create any digits we can create length but what sap again says is six is standard you can use any length zero to ten digits any number for your gl account digits for your gl account but six will be more than enough for any client six length is enough so that let let us pick the same standard six length of a gl account number now group chart of accounts as i said if you want to maintain a group chart of accounts you can create one more group for group chart of accounts and you can assign here. If you want me to show you this part, I'll show you. First, let us save this one. For length, then save. Uh, guys, can I get a quick half minute? Half minute. Okay, so let's save this one. Save. Now, to create a group chart of accounts, you don't make a note. But if you want to create, you just go for one more entry. Okay, create thousand. Create thousand. Group chart of accounts. Maintain language English, length six or ten digit. Save this one. Okay. Now go back to your go back to your uh, BU00 okay and assign here 1000 as a group chart of accounts. So if you have a multiple company codes and if you want multiple operating chart of accounts to be created like BU00, BU01, 02, 03, 04, you can assign group chart of accounts like 1000. This way you, we can assign. But we don't need this one as if no, I'm removing and I'm saving it. Is it clear? Okay. Now, yes, thank you, Chang. Right. Now, next step. Only a small step over here. Now, assign company code to chart of account. Assign company code to chart of accounts. OB62 T code. OB62 T code. Assign company code to chart of accounts. OB62 T code. Now, go to position button. <coughs> company code. Your company code. Enter. So, for this company code, BU00, chart of accounts would be what you just created. We created BU00 chart of account. Same. So what we will do for our BU00, we will assign the chart of accounts to BU00 and save. save. 